large-scale structured urban reconstruction. We take messy real-world inputs and create a clean, semantically parsed output. Our system takes three inputs. The first is a coarse mesh. Such meshes contain noise and are often incomplete. Acquisition artifacts may lead to many non-manifold edges. The next input is a 2D footprint, typically from a geographic information system. Our third and final input is street level photography. Google Street View is a typical provider of such images. We process the mesh and GIS data together. We take the input mesh and slice it horizontally to create a large number of lines. We regularize these lines using the GIS data. The longest of the lines are used to group the other lines into prominent faces. The long seed lines are projected onto the ground plane to become sweep edges. Along these sweep edges, the mesh is sliced to find the raw profiles. Finally, groups of raw profiles are processed to create a smaller set of clean profiles. We have approximate locations for the street level imagery. However, in large examples, we may require several imperfectly aligned images to cover an entire facade. Our CNN detects several classes of features across the facades, such as doors, windows, and facade boundaries. We encapsulate our knowledge from photographs in a data structure known as a building facade. Different sides of a building will have different building facades. The sweep edges, clean profiles, and building facades form the input to the optimization stage of our pipeline. The result of our optimization may be passed to create a 3D structured model. We will now see single block examples from several cities. Again, we see the street level imagery input as well as the coarse 3D mesh. Finally, we evaluate our system on a larger urban area. This 37 block reconstruction contains 1.7 million triangles. We added additional street geometry using GIS data to drive a procedural raw set.